some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Norfolk, Virginia, with the grown man-child known as the Long Island Crier. And he claims that he's been touched and he wants satisfaction for it. He wants names. He wants badge numbers. He wants to file complaints. Oh, poor little guy. Whatever will he do? Well, I'll tell you one thing. He'll get ignored. That's exactly what's going to happen to you. That's exactly what should happen to little children throwing tantrums. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today we're at the Employment Commission here in Norfolk, Virginia. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so upstairs we have Veterans Employment. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can take a look around in here. City of Norfolk Proclamation. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? Recording something, or? Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. Oh, you work with? I'm. I'm in. Who are you, sir? Sorry. Who? I'm who are? Mike. I'm the coordinator for the center here. Coordinator for the center, and yeah. your name? Michael Hunter. Michael. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Uh, yeah, you're a journalist, just like I'm the direct descendant of Genghis Khan. Or was I thinking of Kublai Khan? Either way, you are still not a uh, journalist. You don't have the training or experience. You are just some jackass with a camera. That's all you are. That's all you ever will be. Okay. And what is, what, what are you, what are you journalizing? I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility here. I'm working on a story. Okay. You mind if I ask what the story is? Oh, it's, it, it's on the Employment Commission here. Um, I can't get into any more de detail than that. Unfortunately. Well then, I'm sure we can show you the door, considering you don't want to give out the reason why you're here. So, here, let me point you into that general direction, where the exit is, because we don't need you here. And if you want to go by that you can't trespass anybody from a public building argument, well, guess again, buddy. I'm sorry? If you, get, if you film anybody, you have to get permission from that individual. Oh, that's not the case, because it's public. This is a public building, right? Yeah, but, okay. and, but these individuals, they are private. It's like you go to the hospital, you don't take pictures of people in the hospital because that's their privacy. Well, if you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy. That's why, you know, when you go out, there's cameras everywhere above your heads. You know what I mean? Let me check what I'm Yeah, sure, no problem. Do you have a card? I don't have a card, no. I don't. Yeah. But don't, don't film me about this, we have Yeah, they're in public again, Michael. I'm not I'm not trying to film anybody in particular, but if they're on the video, they're on the video. So I'm gonna have to check my Yeah, you could check with whoever you need to. It's funny. It says we can't record anyone without their permission, but yet here's our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. Even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Interesting. What'd you say? I said you gotta go. Who are you? <laughs> you gotta go. The boss said you have to go. Come on. Who are you? Well, gee, Sean, given his uh, uniform and his uh, equipment that he has around his belt, especially his sidearm, I would say he's the security guard. But, Sean, I guess you're not exactly uh, smart enough to figure that out on your own, right? Allied Universal? Yes. And your name? Come on. Come on what? So you're one of them. One of, why, why are you saying I'm one of them? I'm one of them. 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 I'm one of come up to them and say, you gotta go. Why is that? What do you mean, why is that? It's people's privacy. 
Oh no, there's why is there a camera? There's a camera over there in the corner of the the That's office. That's for security. Are you security? Oh, so it's for security. So if it's if it's if are you if it's for security, security, it's okay. Are you security? Why, why would are you, I, are you security? No, I'm not so security. Are you recording people? So you can only record people if you're security? Well, gee, Sean, unlike you, they're not going to post those uh, videos on YouTube to make a profit, whereas you are going to do that and make every bit of money you can off your videos. And you really don't care who gets uh, hurt or exposed in the process, do you? Because that's all it is about. It is about profit to you. You don't care if somebody's private information gets exposed to everybody. That's just a bonus to you. Doesn't make sense. So, so you can only record people if you're security? Bro, I'm not about to get no clout for this, man. Some clout? Yeah, what does that mean? No clout for this. You be, I know people what does clout mean? Like, the public interest, like you be recording like police stations. You probably um, be at a police station there, they know you. Oh, so yeah, I'm no, trying I be to see people like you all the time on videos. And they're trying to get cloud. Like, Can you explain what cloud is to me? Coming in like I'm trying to figure it out. Coming in like government buildings. This is how you get paid. That's how you get paid. Is that Even what cloud means? Money? Is that how you get paid? Is that people how I get like paid? Recorded, do you, how do you That's get paid? The, every two weeks? Weekly? Week, week, every week. Every week. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. I mean, good for you. Public, right? You know, Sean, I am wondering how this helps anybody out. Because, you know, in the recent weeks, there have been some detrimental effects starting to rear their ugly heads because of uh, idiots like you that go into offices and do this, such as the laws that are being proposed and voted on as we speak that will limit people like you and perhaps limit everybody in the process. So are you really helping us out? Or are you hindering us? This is the person, the operation officer. You can call him and he'll give you permission to come in and do what you need to do. I don't need, who is this, Bill? That's our operation manager. Operation manager? I, I don't need anyone's permission to do what I'm doing. See, I don't know what you're doing. We have, like, people here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Believe me, we have to take, they have time to release the information, be videotaped, or take pictures of them. That's not true. Well, you make them feel very why would that be? I've answered I've answered all your questions. Why would you feel uncomfortable? Can't do this. Can't do it. Yeah, no, I would I would just calm down. If I were you, you just a little go. bit. You had to go, bro, for real. Yeah, no. You had to go. You want me to go home? Call 911. Excuse me? You don't have to put your hands on me. You're not going to. Okay, you want to make predictions, Sean? Okay, uh, here you go. Uh, here's a prediction that I think will come true. Uh, he will touch you, but just barely, and you will over-dramatize it, and you will have a uh, sense of superiority and a... Uh, a uh, persecution complex involved in this to try to get people to get on to your side. Actually, wait a minute. That's not me predicting the future. That's actually what you've done in the past. So security, you're supposed to observe and report, right? That's what they teach you guys. I'm very familiar with Allied Universal, unfortunately. Sean, I've got a bit of advice for you. Drop the observe and report. B.S. It doesn't work. It never has, at least not for intelligent people. I mean, look at that security guard. He has a sidearm. It's not there for show. Not when one has you on hold. That's funny. That is crazy. 
It's luckily, luckily it's only a guy with a camera and not some real threat. Because you're whispering. Said you couldn't hear him. I don't understand why people are feeling uncomfortable. Just show me everything and treat me with respect and we can be on our way. He's just in here recording, making everybody feel uncomfortable. He's not security because apparently everyone, security can only record people. 70 years later. Ma'am, you can cover your face, but I, I just want to say, I just want to say really quick, ma'am. I just want to say that I did tell people my name is Sean. Hi, nice to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sean, and I'm an independent journalist. I, I told, I told the coordinator upstairs that, and I told Trey, the security guard, that. See, you, you don't want to listen. You just want to. Yeah, because you, you want to paint the narrative you want to paint. Please don't lock as a citizen, I'm asking, please don't lock the door. Excuse me. Our office is closed at the present time. They're not time. closed. You have people of members of the public in there. Don't do this. Don't do this. The, the office is closed. It's at not the closed. Time. It's so not closed. Name? It's not do closed. Need we need to hold you accountable. I want to shut. You're not going to touch me. You're not going to touch me. You're not going to touch me. Stop. Get off of me, man. Hey, get off of me. Well, you saw him, right? Now I'm going to hold him accountable when the officers get here. Now I'm going to hold him accountable. And there you go. That's all that happened to him. And he claims that he was assaulted. But you know what? He's a pathetic little worm to begin with. I tell you something. He wouldn't last five seconds in a combat sport like uh, football or professional wrestling or anything like that. Hell, I doubt he could even cut it as a uh, referee in professional wrestling because they get uh, thrown around quite a bit, too. And let me tell you something, Sean. I've been a professional wrestling referee, and some of those hits are quite real and will hurt for days. The following Thursday. I'd like to press charges on the security officer inside. He assaulted me. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what he did? He assaulted me, pushed well, me. Well, I understand. Like, he, he, he pushed you? He pushed me. That's okay. correct. He had pushed me. I need. I, I want some accountability. They they are selectively closing the employment commission just for me, which is discrimination against <laughs> myself in, in particular and my rights. Are <laughs> uh, they letting everyone else into the employment commission here? They're not allowing. That's the security guard over there, but they're not allowing me in only because I have a camera. And as you know. It's protected activity. I'm not causing any disturbances or anything. I've tried to de-escalate best I can. I told them my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just stress testing the government and to see and exercising my rights to see how the government reacts to me exercising my rights. And I'm working on a story to distribute that to the public. Can I get your names and badge numbers? Just so I have it. That has to be one of the dumbest things I've heard come out of any of your mouths as frauditors stress testing the government. Who died and put you in charge to make you think you could just walk into a building and act like you are in charge of everything around there when you couldn't get a job washing dishes at Burger King? 16 paranoia filled days later. Oh, for sure. In, in, in a court of law, I understand that. But, yes, but, as far as... Yeah, our civil rights, my civil rights were definitely okay. were violated today. But I would say there was also a crime committed here today that I need accountability for. Mm -hmm. That was explained to the other off your officer over here. Mm -hmm. um, can I just get your name and badge number? I'm sorry, sure. sir. Sure, it's uh, Officer Martinson, 36019. Okay, yeah. So, Officer, um, the security guard has no right to put his hands on me and assault me, and that's mm -hmm. what he did. And as a citizen, I am... Were you harmed? Were, was there... that does, that's not the way the law works. The, so the the code of Virginia uh, doesn't have a separate battery charge. There's but not a it's assault and battery. They're together. From a mm -hmm. No, he he pushed me, but it's on camera. Mm -hmm. And like I said, 
assault and battery. I'm, I'm very well familiar with assault and battery charge in, in the state of Virginia, and it 100% applies mm -hmm. here. Even if you don't hit, if you have to mm -hmm. put somebody in reasonable. Sean, here is the assault and battery statute for the state of Virginia. This is only one part of it. The rest has to do with public officials such as police officers, judges, and uh, educators. These are the parts that apply to you, and it never says anything in here that you specifically are being targeted for any type of assault. It wasn't about race, gender, uh, religion, or anything that's listed here. So quit acting like you're a damn victim and move on with your pathetic little life. Reasonable apprehension of fear. Mm -hmm. That's the way the sure. statute's written. So if I just cocked back and I was go going to hit you and I didn't, mm -hmm. but I it's put you in assault. fear, yeah. that's still an assault. Mm -hmm. So by actually hitting me mm -hmm. and putting me in fear and of my life and bodily injury, that is 100% assault. And I Oh, so it's all about fear. It's all about your feelings. So you want them to be a feelings enforcer, huh? They didn't. It's not that he actually touched you. It's that he made you afraid. And in addition, you are also lying about the damn statute again. Virginia statute says nothing about fear. It is actual physical contact nothing about fear a security officer not even you as a law enforcement officer mm -hmm. no one has the right to do that to anyone and i want him held accountable okay so uh what would you like from us at this point? i would like you to uh, charge him with assault so, yeah, and battery so i i can't charge him right now okay because what of course you can but if i did it you would charge me 100 you know, that's, that's not that's not what i'm saying at all okay go ahead uh, i would if if the roles are reversed i would give the exact same explanation that i'm about to okay Sure, I'm so listening. The, at the end of the day, I have one party who says that he was assaulted. Do, can, can you present me with any physical evidence of an assault? I have it on, ca I have it on camera. Yeah, on the camera. Okay, but th as, as, far as, as far as, you know, on your person right now, you, you don't have any cuts, bruises, anything like that. Um, but you asked for now, physical as, evidence. Now, as a citizen of Virginia, you have the ability to take out charges, misdemeanor charges against any other citizen in Virginia, okay? We will get the security guard's information for, 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 for you, and you will have the ability, since it's a misdemeanor that didn't happen in my presence, you'll have the ability to take out that charge. But officer, he is not a citizen of Virginia. He is a citizen of New York State. So it might not work out in his favor in this case. Is that what you're trying to get at? Self going to match. But if you're seeing it on video, it, it, it is. Uh, I've, dealt, I've dealt with this before, officer. Can mm -hmm. I, you know what, can I please speak to a supervisor? Sure. Thank you, I appreciate it, officer. Thank you. Two hours later. Yes, ma'am. Sure. What's going on? Um, can I just get your name? Yeah, Sergeant Greason. Sergeant Greason. Yeah, I is this the other person with you? Is this person with you? No, I, I, he was here when I got here. He's just a, a witness, I guess. Okay. He, uh, he's not with me at all. But, um, yeah, I was just here exercising my rights. I'm sure you know that you know constitutionally protected activity. I won't go too much into that, but I was trying to be cordial with everyone, and the they didn't seem to like it, which. Sometimes that does happen. Some yeah. people don't like it. Um, I don't understand, but that is what it is. So um, my problem is why I called you is that I feel like there's no justice being done here, no accountability. Uh, the security officer inside assaulted me. Okay. And on camera, in front of a witness, in front, uh, he insulted me, right? All those things. And I'm demanding that he be arrested for that and charged for that but apparently your officers are saying that i have to just go to court myself as a victim and i and i and i feel like that's really backwards oh where 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 for auditor you don't know how the law works you never have you feign your knowledge in the law but you don't actually possess any you are nothing more than an uneducated, unemployable frauditor, and when this YouTube thing is done and over with, when YouTube stops paying your kind of filth, you will be out on the streets. Because if you have video evidence, you have eyewitness evidence, and you have my, my statement that I'm going to write, what makes that security guard? If I put my hands on somebody, I'm going to jail. I know that. I know that. I'm a very peaceful man, and I've gone to jail for less. So, but if I put my hands on people, I'm definitely going to go to jail. 
and the security guard put his hands on me on camera with in front of a witness and there's no accountability here he's not detained he's not anything you have reasonable suspicion to at least detain him get his information he, he gave me his, his name and date of birth but again i shouldn't have to go to court go uh swear on under oath and and all these other things i shouldn't have to do that when you guys are law enforcement you guys are here to handle the situation you guys should be here to handle it okay. if you want to take my statement you bring it to court mm -hmm. and get a warrant i mean i could show you the video you can hear the eyewitness testimony over here my sworn statement i want accountability i'm a big believer in accountability i would never ever put my hands on someone ne yeah sean whatever and if you believe that I got uh, some swampland on Mars to sell you. Very cheap, too. Uh, only 10 cents per acre. The only uh, issue is that you'll have to provide your own transportation to the site. Um, do you have video footage on your phone? I do have video footage, yeah. Okay. The incident. Was there was there security camera footage? or? No. I mean, there was, but there's nothing we could see online. Okay. Would you like to see it? Yeah, do you mind? Sure. No problem. Hold on one second. You're not going to touch me. You're not going to touch me. Touch me, stop. His shoulder and then his hand right there. Hey, I mean, I see the hand, but so, and I'm not trying to be funny. You can turn it. Yeah. Um, do I think that's enough for a conviction? I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, think... I'm pretty positive it's enough for a conviction only because the way the statute for assault and battery is written is that you have to put someone, you don't even have to touch anyone. If I were to just cock my hand back right now and just put you in fear and reasonable fear of bodily injury. <laughs> Just putting you in fear. I don't even have to touch you. That would be enough for a conviction. How do I know? Is because in Virginia, someone has put me in fear of bodily injury, and they were just convicted a couple days ago in in a trial. Yeah. Because they didn't even put their hands on me like he did. Yeah. And they were just a regular citizen. They were arrested. And this is my problem: is that I feel as though because he's security, right? I feel as though he's being held to a different standard. Hey, Sean, these are law enforcement officers. They are not feelings enforcement officers. So go home, go to your bed, and go cry into your pillow just like the little beta bitch that you are. What happened in this particular case? So I did a thorough investigation. I talked to your witness. I talked to the people inside. I tried to review body, or body camera inside. There was nothing evident that stuck out where I could actually see that an assault occurred. Um, so with that being said, the officers are not wrong in what they told you. So they do not have to make an arrest. So you can go down to the magistrate and secure warrants and take out warrants. If you believe you were assaulted, show them the video and that'll be, that'll come into play. Hey, Sean, these are law enforcement yeah. officers. Yeah. So they are not give you feelings enforcement officers. So go home, go to your bed and your go cry into so your pillow. Just assault, like the little beta to the bitch that you are. Whether you're rightfully allowed to video record, we're not going to get into the weeds with whether you're allowed to be in there because it's very unclear what that property is, whether it's public, public, um, private or federal or state. So at this point, we're here for criminal matters. We're going to go ahead and take care of that need. We're going to go ahead and file the report. And that's the- But I'm not, just to be clear, I'm not trespassing in this building. Well, I'm just going to end the video right there because he spends quite a while longer just whining and complaining and crying about not getting his own way. I mean, the guy is a clear liar. He uh, is trying to create a narrative that's going to get somebody else in trouble. Well, at least that's what he's trying to do anyway. And as a result, he's only making himself look like a giant man-child beta male cuck punk who needs to go home and cry to his mama at any rate i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one